so hey guys welcome back once again and in this video i'm gonna talk about how i converted this image into this image with the help of stable diffusion and dreamlight diffusion model for stable diffusion first of all let me tell you in this video i'm gonna talk about two to three things that i learned during this process so this video might be quite long and informative video so just stay tuned and don't skip the video so first thing i'm gonna talk about is theme what I want to generate this image into this image. So what was in my mind was a galactic theme with clouds and just like a galactic theme with clouds. So yesterday I made a video on this image that I converted into this image using Disco Diffusion. If you haven't seen that video, the link will be already in the description. So let's get started with stable diffusion and image to image. So now that I have already talked about the theme, let me tell you the first mistake I did was generating a wrong prompt. Okay, this was the first mistake and how I corrected let me show you. So let's get into the stable diffusion and let me show you this was the final prompt that I generated. Okay, this was the final prompt. I was using dreamlike diffusion model 1.0 CKPT model. So this was the thing I was using resize and fill sampling step all are a sampling method sampling steps to 50 I was messing this step I'm not gonna go into detail in this video CFG scale and denoising strength are the most important factor I will tell you uh, while generating these images so in order to get its values corrected I was just getting a guide from this page okay I will share you the link in the description I was just going through this page and just correcting my like values so now let's jump on to the main topic let's minimize this and on the extreme left you will see this is the main image the reference image that I used for generating images this is the final output that I generated and I was satisfied with okay so now let me open the images that I was generating so these are the images that I was generating Okay, so first of all, let me tell you the theme will be already on the screen and the prompt that I was using for generating these images will be already on the screen. The first prompt that I was using. Okay, so now let's close the image and let's compare these images to main image. This image. Okay, this was the main image and these are the generated images. So now let me scroll down for you. And if you look closely, let me scroll down. There are so many images that I generated. And if you look closely, you will see the skull was not forming okay in the main image you will see it's full of skull the skull is not missing in the like in main image so but in the generated images the skull was missing most of the images the skull was missing so what was the cause why was the skull missing so it caught my attention if you look my prompt closely on the screen you will see fire elemental i i wrote fire in my prompt so that was the main reason that caught my attention so now let me tell you fire is is equal to red or orange color okay fire is equal to red or orange color and if i tell you galaxy or sky or clouds whatever it's almost like dark color okay like clouds are white color okay you can see closely over here, clouds uh, clouds forming on the white color uh, white patches over here galaxy on dark colors you can see clearly a uh, galaxies on dark color okay i will show you there are so many images that i generated and you will clearly see a galaxy on dark color or purple color as well and this caught my attention here it was red color okay this was the red color and this was the most funniest thing that i caught so this was the red color in the main image and the background was also red so now that i realized my mistake the fire in my prompt was not making my skull to form correctly so then I started removing fire from my prompts and started generating the images. Okay. So after a couple of setting and messing with denoising strength and like uh, CFG scale, I started getting a good amount of image, a good result of image. If you can see closely, I just removed pr a prompt fire from my prompt and just changed my prompt. And now I will show you the updated prompt. So after messing couple of times with CFG scale and denoising strength and like removing fire from my prompt, these were the images that I started getting. If you look closely, it's almost like cloud, galaxy, galaxy, galaxy over here. But still I was missing like uh, the skull was not forming. And after messing with like denoising strength and CFG scale, I started getting results like this. 
okay so i was almost getting a good result okay so now that i was getting good you can see over here it was i was just getting good results over here now i started messing and you will see that i was almost getting close to my result that i was thinking the theme that i was thinking in my mind and i was getting this result if you can see over here clouds on this white portion okay white clouds on this portion like galaxy like effect over here no fire signs uh, anywhere okay no fire signs anywhere if you look closely over here the skull was also almost perfect this was the most perfect i think so was the image that i generated and after this was this image clouds over here no fire signs okay no fire signs still it was a good image uh, this was also a good image and you can see over here uh, the i don't know what was this but yeah it's like clouds only but thick clouds okay and this were the images that i generated and this was the like messing with denoising strength and i was getting close to my result and if you look closely this image as well look closely it's all almost all clouds and it's like the mask is like of waves and like th things like that and this was the final image okay this was at this moment i stopped and i thought no this was the result i was almost not the perfect one but yeah still i was satisfied th with this result okay after messing with denoising strength and cfg scale I stopped over here and I realized that this is the image that almost I was thinking and yeah I got it okay not a perfect one still the skull is not on a perfect shape but still I was satisfied with this so what I learned from today is that your imagination your prompt should be very close to what you are thinking what you are imagining okay it should be very close to it so you need to create a good prompt to close to your imagination or your theme what you want to generate first of all let me tell you what i was thinking was like to create some what like a galaxy or a cloud like i was imagining a thing like that and the fire in my prompt was not generating it properly if you look closely to my prompt there are no fire words and that's how i created i created a good prompt so you can see galactic overload burst space art mandelbub fractal exploding clouds all things related to clouds only this is the main important thing that you need to take into consideration that you need a good prompt to generate your image so let me know in the comment section below guys if i'm wrong then correct me if i'm right then let me know in the comment section below that i'm going right okay so in the next video i'm gonna talk more about sampling steps cfg scale denoising strength and how to set up and how to get a good result out of it so this is it guide for now and see you soon guys in the next video till then have a good day and enjoy guys okay bye guys see you soon guys love you all guys bye guys